Welcome to the Warp World multi Q, the fully featured queuing tool on Twitch. This tool is incredibly useful for anyone who plays viewer generated content, plays games against viewers, or plays games with their viewers. Warp World is built to make managing and playing with your viewers as easy as possible. We want to reduce the time you're spending figuring out whose turn it is and editing messy documents and increase the time you're interacting with your viewers. By simply including a browser source in your streaming software like OBS, you'll have a sharp and customizable overlay with a chatbot running all of the commands for it through whichever account you want. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up the Warp World queue on your stream. We've made this process really easy, so I'll show you how to get set up faster than speedrunners can beat Super Mario Bros. Start by going to warp.world slash multiqueue. The link will be in the description. Once you're there, click that big Get Started button in the middle of the screen and log in with the Twitch account you broadcast with. You'll be asked to create a queue as soon as you log in, so go ahead and type in a name, select a game, and hit submit to get started. Now that you're in, we need to connect your bot. Whichever account you connect here will be the account that responds to commands in chat. Thanks to a new update, we've made it possible to use the default bot, Warp World bot, in your chat to run your queue. If you decide to use the Warp World bot to handle your chat commands, then go ahead and skip forward to 220 in the video for the next step. If you'd like to have your own personal bot account responding in the chat, that's easy too. Just click the big button that says, click here for instructions. Right click the big connect your Twitch bot button and copy the link. You're going to want to open this in either another browser or an incognito window where you're not currently logged into Twitch. The reason for this is we want to be able to log in with your bot instead of your main account so that when users use chat commands, your bot will be the one to respond and not you. Simply authenticate, and if you see your bot name on this page, you can confirm all of your details. Next, we'll insert the overlay into OBS. Simply copy the link from the warp bar page and paste it as a browser source in your OBS, XSplit, or other streaming software. Make the browser source the same size as your stream canvas, which will usually be 1080p, but in some cases 720. If you want the bar to fit into a smaller area, simply just change the width to fit the region you're looking to put it in. You can customize the appearance of your warp bar on this page, but I'll let you play with that later. That's it. The SMB world record is barely halfway done and you have a fully working queue system. While the setup was quick, this bar offers tons of customizability. You can go into the Customize Commands menu to change your commands and responses to better fit your channel's brand, but it'll work fine if you don't touch it too. In the Customize Queue menu, you can fine-tune your queue to match your exact needs. On the left, you'll have your queue settings, such as the name of the queue, the game that it's for, its description, and an optional message users will receive if they type exclamation mark whisper in the chat. This is great for sharing room lobby codes in games like Smash Bros Ultimate. On the right, you have your queue filters. Required notes will make it so the users must include a note after they type exclamation mark join. And usually you'll want this to be their in-game ID or identifier code for the content they're submitting. But it can also be used for champion picks in games like League of Legends. Sub only mode will make your queue open only to subscribers with the option on loyalty badge filters too. If you set this to six months, only viewers with six month loyalty badges or higher will be able to enter the queue. Bit only mode will allow people to join if they cheer along with their exclamation mark join command. You can set the minimum amount here. Finally, the max queue size will be the how many people you can have entered into your queue at once. And that's it. Head over to your queue dashboard and you can manage your entrance from here. The dashboard allows you to pick random viewers or subscribers to enter your queue next, or you can just select a member yourself. Once they're in there, you can use the win or lose button to record your matches against the user, or simply remove them if those options aren't relevant to your game. We also give you the option to ban the user if you want them not to come back into your queue. In the player list, you'll see a star next to users who are subscribed to you, and a heart if they're following. Their notes show next to their name, and the actions you perform with them next to that. 
Lastly, you'll be able to see if they're still online or in your Twitch chat. If you need to clear your entire queue, use the small eraser button in the top right. And if you only want to see people who are online in your queue, click that small button with three people. We've built this tool with all of the features we think streamers need for a quick, fun, and functional experience to play games with their Twitch audience. So next time you plan on playing Smash Bros, Dota, League of Legends, Fortnite, PUBG, Rocket League, Jackbox, Smite, StarCraft, or any game with your community, use Warp World to make the experience flawless. If you want to learn more about Warp World and the services we offer, go to warp.world. You can learn about Crowd Control, our service that lets people alter your games like The Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Bros. in real time. Or 1UpCoin, the cryptocurrency donation service that lets streamers accept more cryptocurrencies than any other platform. Or check out our podcasts at podcast.warp.world.